the next thing on my resolution is to buy a house slash condo. That is a priority. The market right now is beating our ass, but we are beating it right back, baby. It is January, our lease ends in June. We got plenty of time. I'm not sweating. I start to sweat and then I'm like, pause, don't sweat. We got approved for the condo. They accepted our offer. In 24 hours and 15 minutes, I will be a fucking condo owner. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What's up, my people? I'm seeing you in a minute. I'm so happy to share the news that me and Travis are condo owners. <laughs> We've been keeping this on a wrap since January, and it's March 5th, so it's been a long 40 days, but we did it. We got the keys on Wednesday. They are on my keychain, baby. I just thought I would take you guys back with me for the longest and shortest 40 days of my life. Um, first of all, don't close on a house in the shortest month of the year just noting. So I'm gonna take a TBBT way back way and talk about how I got from not being a homeowner to being the first homeowner in my immediate family. I've been dating Travis since August 2019. It is March 2023. I'm wearing a Harley shirt I got for Christmas from Cole who's actually playing D&D in my living room so if you hear people yelling I was living in Salem with the girlies and then I got in a fight with the girlies and packed up my shit and left that weekend because there was a lot of tea at that apartment and it was for the best. I left Salem in April 21, right after I just turned 22. I'm at my mom's, I'm commuting into Boston for my mom's which is like, I don't want to do this anymore. I love y'all but I gotta be closer to my job so I rallied up the boys aka Travis, Aaron, and Kyle and Kyle has his dog Ace and I said, okay boys, it's now or never. And we toured this apartment and I was like, it'd be the, it, not to, it'd be so cheap. Like they're not this cheap in Boston. We got the spot. So I'm like, well, we gotta send it right now, boys. Yeah, we did that. Me and, Tra me and Travis have been sharing this little closet. We just have kind of thrived as roommates. What can I say? Um, me and Travis are two peas in a pod. I don't know, it's just easy. And we are like, okay, word. Um, I wanna buy a house. He's like, yeah, I want to buy a house with my board. I don't know how to get into the relationship aspect of knowing when you should move in with your significant other or anyone in general, really. I, I feel like sometimes you just gotta say fuck it and do the damn thing. If you're gonna live with someone, you just kind of want to think longevity wise, like, are you gonna be with this person for a long time, you think? Like, I don't know, we've been together almost four years, so we've enjoyed living together for almost two years. I can't really see it getting any worse when we live with just the two of us exactly how we want to. You get to the point, you're with your partner. You both have had j jobs that are like, like you have a good job history, like you're not unemployed, I don't know. <laughs> you wanna save up some cash. Now this is the part that no one wants to talk about, the down payment. First time home buyer programs are out there. We qualified for one and now we have a $2,000 Home Depot gift card that we were gifted and we were also given back $1,250 at the closing, which was fire getting that back. They do exist, but ours was the 321 program and the three meaning 3% down. So we did have to pay 3% of our mortgage at the closing and that was cray. The reality of my situation is probably different than a lot of people. I saved a, a lot of money from like, I've been working since I was 14, 15, 16 and I have saved money for a long time. When I got furloughed twice in six months, I definitely struggled, but thankfully I still have more savings than some people and some people have more savings than me. So I had enough and plus my rest for soul, my Yaya, my queen, my absolute angel miracle queen, my grandma, she gave me bonds as a child. And growing up, I knew I had these. I saved them knowing I wanted to buy my first house with them. And I did that and I still have some leftover, which is really nice because I worked very hard as well. But I was like, I have some that are still accruing because they're all 30 years and I did cut all of them early. Actually, I think some might've been 20 years or 10 years. I saved up the money. Travis single-handedly is paid his down payment. God bless him. When you get into the numbers of buying, you know, like buying your house, a condo, I keep on saying house, but we did buy a condo. It's not a standalone house. 
those are expensive in our area and I don't want to live in the boonies in Massachusetts that's all I can really say I'm studious now okay okay you've solidified you want to buy a home right you have to look at the finances like I said your down payment how you get your down payment you have to get pre-approved for a mortgage so here's how I did this because getting that on your own you can do but you can also have an agent I went to my boy Sala hit him up Keller Williams my boy does Massachusetts and New Hampshire and Keller Williams is if not the best in the state, so, or the best in the nation, so. We went through him, so I went to high school with Sala, actually. Bless up, I had the connections. I didn't just reach out to an agent I had never heard of before and didn't get recommendations for him. I knew he had a good judgment and I knew he had been doing this for six years and he does have good reviews online. Like, say you were, you didn't know someone that was doing real estate that you trust, you can just look up, I mean, KW is great, Compass is great, Redfin is great. There's a lot of really good brokerages in probably any area. <laughs> just start looking up reviews, bro. Go on your Facebook groups, go on your Google, go on your Yelp, go on, ask your mom, ask your friends, ask your parents, friends, ask your friends, parents. <laughs> Sala recommended our mortgage lender, Frank. And Frank and the homie, bro. Frank and the crew. Frank was there closing. We finally got to meet, and I just, he's such a sweet, sweet soul. And we trusted our mortgage company along with Solid Judgment. The site was great. The rates are great. We got pre approved, which means you get your credit pulled, which means your credit score will drop a few points. It will go back up in the next cycle, but just take a note of that. If you need to get a credit card, you don't want to be doing this right now. If you need to buy something really big right now, other than your rent, don't be doing this right now. When you pre-approve for a mortgage, you want to like lock in like this is where your money's going to be going for the next three months because your pre-approval only lasts 90 days. Sometimes it's less, so like you can get pre-approved and then just like not renew your pre-approval. Like I said, it's not costing you anything. It's just costing you a couple credit score points. Once we got our numbers and our pre-approval, we saw what we would be paying monthly and what we would be paying for the rest of our lives until this money was paid off. From that, you can go have an existential crisis or you can go and start searching houses this kind of goes back to the agency where i went through keller williams I me mean, this is not a sponsor but it kind of is we went through keller williams so we went to their site and started searching homes in this budget we also knew what we wanted we knew what we wanted and didn't want but we didn't fully know this until we toured so we found so many houses bro like we knew that we wanted a two bedroom it's in a condo that has a good hoa fee the homeowners association fee can bite you on condos because sometimes they don't include anything current like thankfully on ours we are splitting it two people so everything's cut in half and our hoa fee is also cut in half and it includes everything but electricity and wi-fi so that's a blessing we had some standards but not like crazy standards like we kind of knew what we were getting into. So we would look up two beds in this price range and then kind of like read through all the descriptions. Like I'm talking anytime I was bored at work, I'd be on the site and I'd be like, we would message our agent and say, hey, we want to tour this apartment or sorry, this unit, this condo, this house. And we toured probably 10-ish house condos probably less honestly i think we toured maybe like more like six or seven and we did this all within a month we closed on january what 27th 28th we got pre-approved like i said end of december or january so we just went on a bunch of tours and the tours were so fun so just that's one of my favorite parts we put in offers on three two or three condos before getting this one if you're not obsessed with the house but you would like it for the price or the layout or whatever the, it may be the location then put in an offer bro because you can get it so there's terms and conditions in your favor aka we didn't get a house because or a condo because we wanted to do an inspection and be able to pull out if the inspection went bad and there's some people that were offering no, I don't care about an inspection at all, so I'm just gonna buy it. Yeah, bro, if you want to stick to your terms, you gotta you gotta stick to your terms, and the right one will happen. Don't get discouraged. It's the long game. It's the shortest and longest game. 
but I'm very proud of where we've ended up. The road after getting our offer accepted was the longest sprint marathon <laughs> of my life. But we did so much paperwork, I can't even describe, guys. Like, I might as well promise them my firstborn. Like, <laughs> just, I'm very thankful to be here, to have the finances to be here. I'm very thankful for Travis because I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. I'm very thankful for my parents and helping me out. Because now that I've finished the paperwork of my life, we get to decorate, bro. We get to renovate. My dad did flooring like all of his life, my life, and he's gonna do our floors. And me and Travis just got done picking paint for our condo rooms. I will show you on the screen what we were thinking, what we were gonna cop, and hopefully the next vlogs will be us painting and doing the flooring. Very thankful for this Home Depot gift card. Thankful for my dad doing our floors. Thankful for my friends who are going to help with paint. I'm just so excited, you guys. This is the long haul that I've been waiting for. And here we are. In the next few videos, I will be renovating my house. So please stay tuned if you're interested in that. I upset, uh, that is my obsession on YouTube is house, architectural digest, renovating, DIYs, that is my niche so if you're ready for that baby come along you gotta hit that subscribe button i will see you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching and following along and all of it i give you a hug okay bye